Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Well, I've started to do some work on the base, moving stuff around. One of the things I've, gonna, I've done already is to move the uh, lava generation around here. So basically, exactly the same as it was before. Under these are uh, Ilurion blocks producing uh, lava at a reasonable rate. What speed is it? Five times. So those are producing lava and that's getting pushed into this end chest and the tank here and this tank. That's actually getting reasonably full. That's just a reserve really in case of other have things that happen. Now this is the wireless battery and this is the energy cell. Now what I want to do with these energy cells is link them together. I've made some more. I made some advanced power cells which can store four million RF. So if you look at the recipe for that, basically that's a standard power cell with some infused ba uh, diamonds. And the recipe for infused diamonds is basically dimensional shards, which we found last time when we went to the slime island, and the diamond. Fairly straightforward, really, nothing special. Now, what is interesting is you can then start to link these machines together and make a network. Let's do that first of all. And here I've got the the power card, the power cell cards, which you basically put in there, and I think does that link them, or do I have to put them in here to link them? Used to connect power box, unlinked. Okay, but I thought we went. Uh, no, nope. <laughs> I thought you put them in somewhere and it just goes across. Power card unlinked. If I got this wrong, I've got it wrong. Okay. So what then you do is you take another power cell, let's put one down of these, let's put one of these down. Like that, and I think you can then just simply link the two together. Why is that? I think you have to leave one in there and then put one into the other one of it. Or maybe you have to shift right click it. Let's try that as well. That I haven't tried yet. Power cell card. Okay. Nice holding shift. And ah, oh, installed module. Okay, so is that now bound? Let's have a look at this one. Oh, well, that's uh, changing the face, which you don't want to do. Let's look at this. Ah, oh, so it is actually linked. Link of day four. So that's where it goes. Okay, let's put it in there then. Unlinked. <laughs> let's try this one. Well, I'm a bit confused. It doesn't get the notes stack. Well. Maybe they do. No, they don't stack. Link ID 6, Link ID 5, unlinked. Ah, well, they are. I'm going to have to do some more research. I thought I could put that. Oh, now it's linked. So it's changed ID 4. Good. So I just put that into here. Unlinked. That's very confusing <laughs> put it in here linked ID 4 let's put that one in there they should then stack and indeed they do so I think you then put this one into here unlinked and you have to do it like this unlinked well I'm confused I know this is a charging slot Well, I don't get that. Never mind. Right, today's exercise. I thought it was like that. I'll, I'll do some research between the episodes or somebody around to tell me. Oh, yes, my like I said, bash the doors down because I keep walking into them. Let's do that. <laughs> I probably should do this one too if I've got nothing on it. Yeah, we've got nothing on it. It's just. Ah, broken. Okay, at last. I haven't done it. I should have done it as soon as I got put this thing down shouldn't I really so next thing I need to do is to repair this yeah it's broken have I got a repair kit I need a as long as I've got one in there I thought I made a, uh, a cobalt repair kit let's have a look I still <laughs> it doesn't mean I can get past things though <laughs> No, I haven't. That's strange. Okay, maybe I've already used it on the other pickaxe sharpening kit. Let's do the sharpening kit. Let's put that into here. 
and let's put these two ingots into here and then come back when that's sharp. Now I have also managed to upgrade this. So now I am a grandmaster <laughs> and I'll show you how I was doing that. Because actually it's quite interesting. And in here, weak, I have got some zombie chunks and some slime chunks. There was also a gas in there. I got a gas chunk as well when he was doing that. In fact, let's take these out of here. Let's, let's get these out of here. There's actually one of each. Interesting. Well, that one's just about full. I was repairing my own armour. There's one more in here, isn't it? Let's get that out of there. I think that'll do. I'm waiting to see if I ever get some feather falling on these. Well, I've put... I've put some feather falling on here. Right, yes, I have. Yes, good. So, what did I say I wanted to do? I want to do some... Um, let's have a look in here what I've got prepared. Basically, I need to do two things. And what I'd like to do is we'll start with um, the immersive engineering stuff, I think. I want to make a sludge boiler. And we need to make a workbench. Well, it's not essential, but I'm going to make a workbench. So let's have a look on that one. So I basically need a fence. It's actually not too difficult, this one. Let's just have a look in this. I might be able to do it on this one, actually. I might have everything here. I do. So we now got our workbench. Oh, that's a quest completed. Fantastic. I didn't know there was a quest for that. As usual, let's put this workbench down. I think it takes two blocks. Yeah, it does. It's probably going to get in my way. So we can then start to make things with this. And I think I need the workbench for something that we're going to make today. So oh, I would also like to um, upgrade the um, blast furnace. Let's go and do that. Because I'm bound to need some steel. Yes, I'm going to definitely have problems through that doorway, aren't I? Now, I think in the blast furnace, which is this one, yeah, we've got some slag, some steel ingots, some cold coke. Now I've got no space for anything else. Let's just uh, move something out of the way. Because I'm going to take this one and then hold the ore excavator. Why does that not work today? Why is that not working? Weird. Or we'll excavate those 27 blocks away. I think I should have 27. Yes, I do. And then we combine those with a steel ingot, and then we shall get a hardened one, I think. Tell you what I'm going to do. I've thought of it already. Let's take this tank out of the way. I don't think... And this. Oh, axe, probably, is it? Let's put the, t I'll put the tank up here for the time being. An axe. There we go. And I have this one. Yeah, it is an axe. Let's put this down over here. Good. Better place like that. So, the uses of these, where have they gone to? This one, so we need some steel plates. Okay, so we need 27 steel plates and then we get 27 reinforced blast bricks. So let's do those. So while there's, well, we've got 26, that's soul forged. Steel, where is it now? There. So we need 27, how am I gonna do this? Probably do it the hard way. Yep, like that. And then we can put these into the, I haven't done this doorway. <laughs> Let's just do this doorway. Yeah, I haven't got enough space to, step to do anything I want. So what did I want? Plates. And now I'm not gonna, uh, yeah. Let's put those blocks in there like that. Right, good. So we should have had a sharpening kit come through there. Has that not come through? Oh, of course, because it's not turned off, is it? Turned on, is it? So we should have the sharpening kit now, so we can swap that one out for the plate one. Turn this on and then put the 
steel ingots into there. They should come out. I guess they should come out. I've got to better check it. Yes, they are going to work. I hope they're going to work. And while, before I do anything else, I'm going to put these blocks away that I picked up. So what have you got here? Factory block. I think that's that one, isn't it? Indeed. Some more factory blocks. That one. And that will do for the time. Oh no, there's yellow ones here. Factory block, yellow and black. Like that, good. So there we cleared that bit up. But let's go and put this away. I oh, should be getting steel ingots. Uh, steel plates, great, we are. So the next thing I'd like to make is the cloche. That's the goal, really, is to make a cloche. So we need some of these mechanical bits, and what we need here is the vacuum tubes. So for that, we need some copper wire and some glass and some redstone. No big deal. But the copper wire is the one that actually bothers me most of all. So the way I'm going to deal with that, and I think I've got the right version up, because it I've just changed the loader to being the Java version so I can actually lo load a higher version of Java so it's heavy machinery we want the metal press so we need some scaffolding it tells us what we need here two scaffolding one redstone engineering block one piston two conveyor belts and one heavy engineering block so let's have a look what I've actually prepared already so we've got scaffolding so we want two steel scaffolding I think that was what we needed we need these steel, I think we need that for the heavy engineering block. Let's have a look at what's the recipe for the heavy engineering block. We actually also need to make a light one, but that's just for a quest. We can do that. Actually, let's do that one. That makes two, and that'll finish it complete. And because that, so look at that quest here. Most of it tech. The, the light one is here, and then the heavy one comes after it. So it's worthwhile doing that one as, as well first. So let's do the heavy engineering block now. So basically steel ingots and these steel mechanical parts. So if you look at the recipe for those, it's just basically four steel plates around the copper air in a sort of cross times on a copper ingot. So no, no big deal. So we've got those already made. So we can make two of those. So that should be the heavy engineering block done. But the, oh, and we got the quest, of course. That was the main intention. We need some conveyor belts, two heavy con conveyor belts, and a redstone engineering block, which I think must be for that. Was very straightforward: copper, iron, and uh, redstone. So, what else did we need on that one? Let's just double check the recipe. Uh, one piston. Okay. Oh, it's nice. It tells you what you've actually not got: pistons. Yes, I've got a piston up here. So, now my inventory is totally full. Let's just sort it out a bit. Um, let's put this in a chest for the time being, because I haven't got any space for anything else. Let's go and get those steel plates. And then we can craft those together to make the heavy one so we look at the uses of that one again and blast brick so it's basically this one <laughs> and we don't need the piston unless we can take these out to like that and then we can basically go and build our I think it's what we have to do and I think it's exactly the same pattern as before but I'll just put them down anyway got this wrong I've got it wrong that, that one's in the wrong place I hope this is what I have to do let's get the hammer Now, 
<laughs> yeah, okay, but they're out of the way. I don't need any steel at the moment, so I'll look at the, we'll look at the recipe in, later on, I think. Maybe I need more blocks, or maybe it's a different pattern. Just my luck. So, I want to put down the press, don't I? Let's go and do that. The idea of that was really to get it out of my way. I think we're going to sit up over here somewhere. We've got power here, so we can use that. Might not be enough, but I know that the press doesn't use up too much. I'm going to be moving all of these machines around anyway, so let's. Here is probably a good place. It's not. It's not ideal, but it's, it's better than nothing. So let's look at that recipe again. So scaffolding, redstone block, and that, and the piston goes down. Okay. So scaffolding. To scaffolding. I need that with it. Let's put that like that. If I can get it in that place. Yes, good. So we put now one of those, one of those, and the rest of the block goes in the middle. And then we have to get the direction going. So we, we put down the conveyor belts. So we need one here and one at the other end. So like that, and like that. Because it's, through, it's a through process. And then, let's have a look at what we have to do next one. I think the piston goes down next. Yes, the piston goes down facing this. Now you can't put the piston down facing that. So you put it down anywhere. And then you take your hammer and you knock it into the right place. I think it, if you rotate it, I think it rotates. Oh, hammer. Like that, which is correct. So I've got it in the right place straight away. It's good. And then the last bit that goes on top of this is the heavy engineering block. One of these two. So. I have to jump up and I'll do this thing. Yep, good. So that's it. So all we now do is we hit this with a hammer and it should turn into a press. There we go. Like that. Then it needs a plate. So that's the first thing we have to go and do. We have to make a plate. And the reason I'm doing this is just easier. So we need a piece of copper to start with, and we need to hammer the copper into a sheet. Oh, actually, I don't need to hammer the copper into a sheet, do I? I've got the this thing in here, and it's got plates in it already. Let's put one of these pieces of copper into there, and that should get melted and come out. Yep, it'll come out here as a plate. So I've got this now. I can actually fix this one, can't I? And with a sharpening kit, you can do it on yourself. You don't need to take a tool forge or a tool station with you if you go on a trip. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Good. So now you can cut the copper plate. So let's have a look at that one. Where has it gone to? Shit, scissors here, or shears. Engineer wire cutters. And then we make one of these. Now, this, we can then use this to make the, the press. So let's look at the uses of this one. I think it's a... I thought it was a crafting recipe. One. Nope. Ah, maybe I've done something wrong. Let's look at the plates then. What's this called? Mold, okay. Good, so this is the one we need to make. Okay, so it's six pieces of steel. Ah, okay. This is actually a different recipe than it used to be. So that's no big deal, let's get that down. We should have six pieces of steel in here, so we've got 45. Actually, it's five pieces of steel plates, isn't it, I think. <laughs> we left me work could just be on. Right, those are gonna take a few seconds to do. What I while I was doing that, let's make a chest uh of some description. I think we need a I'm having a think what I should do need in this thing. I need a chest of something to store the stuff into. 
when it comes off the other end of the conveyor belt. I think an ordinary chest will do. Let's get this heavy engineering plane to here. I don't need that with me now. So that should have got the five I think we need. Oh. How many pieces of steel did I put in there? I thought I put in six. Oh, maybe I got some from before. Okay, good. So now we should be able to make... <laughs> I've still got the climbing gloves, so as I touch the wall, I jump up. So we should be able to make this now. Engineer's workbench. Oh, I need a blueprint. Okay. And that I didn't think of. What do we need? Steel plate. Okay, we can do that. No big deal. Actually, well, I shouldn't say actually. Um, immersive engineering is one of the mods that's changed a lot over recently, I think. Quite a few of them haven't, but this one certainly have, has. Oh, okay, so we've got different blueprint. Uh, Moulds, projectiles. Okay, so we need the mould press one. Interesting recipes, they're all different. I don't know whether they're actually crafting components. Okay, good, this one will do. So we need three pieces of paper. So now we put this into here. It's fairly obvious how it works really. Put this into here, then you should get this. So we select that one. And that was plates, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, and a pair of cutters. I don't know whether the cutters have to be complete. Oh, nope, they don't, fantastic. What I haven't done with me is take some copper. Let's do that. I don't know how many we need. Let's take, uh, yeah, it's 32. Let's take 16. Now let's take 32 and make 32 of these things. The fastest way was here, wasn't it? It needs power as well. I haven't given it any power yet. <laughs> right, messing around to it. Right, click that onto there. And then the idea is you put your, co your copper on here like this. Just throw it on. And it's gone somewhere. But it won't go anywhere special. So we put down a chest at the other end of this. I should really put a hopper into this, in fact. And I'm not sure this will work without a hopper. Or we can put a hopping, hopping conveyor belt. What is that piece of cup? Oh, I think it's there until it gets power. So let's go and get a cable. And a connector. So I need an insulated copper cable. That's not the right type. And I don't see any connector. I know I've got one because I broke something else to get one. So one of those. Where is the connector? I've got some, yes, so I'll take some of these with us actually. I don't see the connector there, where has it gone to? Maybe I've got it on me actually. Yes, I have a look. Let's put that like that. Actually, I have to be honest, my inventory is a mess. <laughs> I got an opportunity to make a video and I wasn't expecting to get the opportunity, so I'm doing that. So what you do with this thing, as far as I remember, you basically need to connect it up here like this. So you put the connector up here. Oh, maybe I'm too close. <laughs> can't shift it on there. Try jumping. I can't jump. Can't jump because I'm in the way of this ship. Uh, let's go down here then. Yeah, got it on. So now all we need to do is to take an insulated cable. I'm going to use insulated cables at the moment. 
from there and connect that to there and that should you see you see a bit of copper got down and got stamped and then it'll get thrown off the end here. so what we need to do is then to collect that stuff but one thing you can also do is to put a conveyor belt down like this we want it to go in that direction i'm putting it on the floor seems like a daft place doesn't it but then you can take your hammer here and you can right click it shift right click it and i think if i'm not if i'm not mistaken <laughs> if you right click it it goes up but if you shift right click it it goes changes angle oh well have i got it in the wrong place do i need to do this at the bottom Hmm. Do you know? <laughs> I did this a while ago, and I've completely forgotten. I thought I've surprised myself when I did it. What if there's any others? You can do like control clicking it, right clicking it. Now just roll and roll is the same thing. And so does Alt. And Shift should move it. I wanted it to get into an angle. Never mind. I don't want to waste time doing that. I'll show you different ways to do that. So we need two chests, I'm going to make two hoppers. I know I need to make two hoppers. Hopefully we've got enough iron in here to make two hoppers. 26, yes we have, good. Let's take the next one of these. Uh, uses of this one. Recipe. Right, so now we should be able to make a conveyor belt from Immersive Engineer with a hopper. Try again with a typing an H. Nope, what's it called? It's this one. A dropping conveyor belt. Oh, need an iron trap. Okay, it's dead easy. I thought that was that one. Never mind, it must have. Uh, extra hopper doesn't really matter that much. What you do with this, you put it down. Now I want to put it down like that, yeah? I have to press shift, of course. And then, when something drops, it should drop into there. So let's try that again. I'm still puzzled by this one. I'm sure I did it anyway. Yeah, I don't want that to do that. <laughs> right, let's throw some let's throw some copper onto there. Uh, actually maybe I can even put it down on this one. It's picking me up. No, I've got to throw it up here. Yeah, it's always a bit awkward until I get it in the right angle. Then you can just throw it on. <laughs> there you go. One got one on that time. They get stamped. And that should then drop drop down into there. As you see, it might well have done. But I can't open the chest. <laughs> and I can't open the chest because Oh dear. Right, I have to put a crate. Let's break let's break that with an axe. Well, I'm not doing very well, am I? Oops. What did I pick up then? I got five. And you get two per per copper ingot as well, which is nice. You get double. So I basically put a crate down there instead of a chest. And then it'll drop into the crate. And then we can right click the crate. So what did we want to do? I wanted to make a cloche, didn't I? this one so what we need to do is make a vacuum tube so we need this one an engineer's blueprint crafting components and then we need two of those in the glass that's no big deal let's do that so now we need a second engineer's blueprint so I probably need three pieces of paper again I think it's probably the it might the recipe might not be the same let's have a look at the recipes for that one So 
So this time we want crafting component, this one. It is molds. Okay, good. Crafting components. Ah, I can do it. What was it? Aluminium, iron, and that was fantastic. Now, of course, my inventory is so full, I've got to get rid of something in my inventory. I wonder if we can make a, a crate while I'm at it. Because I know that they exist also in here. Oh, yes, we can. Good. And the right type of crate, too. But I haven't got any space for that. Let's just hold, put that in there. And that's full up as well. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's put some stuff into here. I don't need the chest. I need the engineer's plate. I don't need these two. I do want to actually to put a hopper down. You'll see why in a second. So right, let's get on with this one then. Let's take this blueprint out of here and then put in this one. So we needed two pieces of wire, so we need to make a tube. So stained glass or any glass I guess will do. Two copper wires and one redstone. One redstone and one piece of glass. I hope it'll do. No, I've not, you know, I've not built one of these before. These are also new features in immersive engineering. Can I shift click it into place? I can. Good. And piece of glass. Ah, and we can make three of these vacuum tubes. Fantastic. So you can just shift click those into place. So that's that one done. So now we should be able to make this. We need glass and an iron mechanical component. Same as the steel one, but just iron plates. I don't need that one. Because I've got that already made up. And they should be... Oh, I've used them up. Of course I have, yes. I use them up for the... Um, Ah, oh, fantastic. One garden cloche. I use them up for the light engineering block. Quest complete. Cloche. Right, we're doing really well with our quests. Before we can put this down, there's some more bits and pieces we need. What's that? Immersive craft manual. Immersive craft. Okay, it's different. What was before that is? Okay, I know what that is. A rock. Let's put that into there as well. So we just have a store. Well, let's take that out with this and put that underneath the thing. We can then see that better. Copper, have I got some copper with me? I think I took it up. Left, kicked it all out, didn't I? What did I do? Let's take one of these. I'll move this into here because we don't need that in here. Same with the steel plates. Good. Yeah. So what you do here, we'll put this down first of all, and then you can right click it. And it's nice, it fits in with the sort of immersive engineering feel of this. So what we can also do here is you can put down a hopper, put it down, down into that like that, and then you just put some ingots in there like that, and that should drop down. Ha, hasn't done. Huh. I thought it would do. I think I need it lower down onto one of these conveyor belts, but I'm sure I can twist this one. I wish, wish I remembered how to do it. <laughs> I just can't remember how to do this. It's driving me crazy. Maybe I just have to, let's tell you, I know what to do. Let's break this and stick it at the top instead of trying to tick it at the bottom. So I think you, what you can then do is you can tip this downwards with an alt right click. No, I can't do it. <laughs> but it's easier to put, uh, is it, actually it's easier now to put stuff onto this. You can actually stand on it and you can just drop stuff off the edge of it. Like that, and that'll go across there and gets clumped. Let's take this off there, and that should have ended up in here as two pieces of copper wire. So there's that bit done. 
I will remember how to do that because I have done it before. And next time I'll have a look at it. So that's the next thing we want to do is to set up the garden. Cloche. And also to make a sludge boiler. Because they are, and it's this recipe. So it's one bucket, plastic, two furnaces, one machine frame, two iron, and I've got everything prepared. So it should be just a simple click into place. We also need some dirt. Let's take one of these dirt. Like that. I don't know if you have to put the garden close down onto something or other. I know it needs power. And I know it needs water. Now the water bit's going to be a bit awkward to start with. What's that funny noise? Oh yes. Alright. <laughs> I know what that funny noise is. So let's try putting this down here. Oh, it doesn't go down. How do I do this? I think it has to be on a stand or something. Uh, but also I want to put down the sludge boiler. The trouble with the sludge boiler is it's um, it gives you a poisonous effect. So I want to avoid putting it down. Normally what I do with this, I put it down underneath. But we've got the items coming out underneath. All right, I'm going to have to put it down beside it or somewhere near. Let's put it down here like that. It's going to need power. I'll put it in the wrong place then. Let's pick it up. Industrial for going is pickaxe stuff, isn't it? Let's put it down here where then it gets power. Like that. So that's getting power in here. And this is already full of sludge. It's also full of rubber and fertilizer. So that's been working nicely. So what we now need to do is to, pu to pump this out. So I just need a piece of well, fluid duct of any type, actually, and a servo. And I haven't got a servo. And what this does is it produces all sorts of interesting um, things like dirt and podzil and clay and all sorts of useful bits and pieces but it has a nasty effect so <laughs> right but i'm going to spend my time doing that i'll do that between episodes how to put it down properly so what did i want i needed a servo didn't i so we'll make a standard servo like this that's the fast one it's only because i've got more silver and I'm not using much silver at the moment and I'm not using much um, gold well, I've got plenty of gold to be honest with you so let's put this onto here like this and then right click this and get out of the way I think because I'm not sure how far away I have to be here so if I right click this oh yeah oh maybe that's not doing it anymore you see you get some mycelium sand bodzil red sand and clay from that and then this tank gets emptied so then this works faster again so we've got a few stacks of inferior essence now and lots of rubber so that's working pretty good I'm happy with that what have we got in here I haven't checked in here yet uh, wrong one plant I needed haven't I so we've got 13 rubber seeds and five inferior seeds tier three so we can then spread those around a bit if we want to have more at the moment I don't because you see I'm only using one and it hasn't been that long and the growth crystal's working quite well so let's get out of here and have a look at this engineer's manual again because I'm sure that the garden close goes on a stand of some description let's go back I wonder where that would be under oh and let's have a look at the improved blast furnace yes so it's faster what do we have to do with it? Oh, is it just four levels? With a, with a hopper on the top of it, is it? 27 reinforced bricks. That's layer two. Layer three. Oh, okay. That's easy. I can fix that. 
nothing I could do if there was space above it. <laughs> <clears throat> right. We have to make some space, aren't we? All we need to do now is put Harper on the side of that. Oh, I didn't realise that was so easy. Right, good. I've got a piece of... I wanted the dirt for the, for that. That, because I could do, do the dirt down, put the dirt down here. Good, I've got a double jump on, I think. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do is put the jetpack on. I've got some slime boot. Oh, no, I don't. I've got my climbing glove, haven't I? So if I can climb up this thing. Hopper. It wants to go in the middle. Uh, oh yeah, it's there. So that should be all I need to do now. I should be able to right click the front of this with a hammer. And it turns into a blast furnace. Fantastic. Let's pick that up. Using the silk touch. It forms a nice one. So there we are, we have it. It's not finished yet. We, can, we need to put on the side of some things to make it go faster. The preheaters. That's actually another quest. So the last part of this video is to see how I've been getting my hearts all green. They're not all green, bright green yet. I've got four small ones to go. And the way I've been doing it is like this. Coming down here. Now in here there's bound to be blaze and all sorts of things. All I've been doing is standing here, right clicking them like that. What I've got behind me is another indiction, uh, interdiction torch, I think. I can actually even open the door, it makes a difference. And when you get... You normally f wants to feed yourself as well, which can be really irritating. But they can't get to you anyway. And you get strength when you kill one of these, which makes you kill the other ones fairly qu a lot quicker straight away. As you, as you can see. Now, this particular um, unbreakable shuriken has got uh, that special metal in it, isn't it? If we go down here, let's do these two while we're here. Let's do Even with the mega torch, they're still spawning like crazy. I have got now 47 of zombie chunks and 20 slime chunks. Let's go. Into what was actually killing those things? Ah, oh, it's probably the other one anyway. Where is it? So when I kill the blaze ones, which I haven't, usually get some hearts, unless they disappear out. I might as well get the hearts, even if the difficulty goes up, because you need these things anyway. And they get, the difficulty is going to go up with time, so you've got... It's funny, every time you, you get your strength, you have to eat. You're getting that this, this strength boost for three seconds or something like that, which does a lot more damage. So look at the strength, three seconds. Doesn't that? It's not very long, but it's quite effective. So we now got 49 zombie chunks. Actually, there's my. F I guess it's a standard uh, blaze. Oh, we got now we got a magma. And with the magma, so look at how strong this thing is. They have enormous health. And usually they spawn magical and and warped ones, all sorts of strange things of missed. And there's a blazy one. A bit of luck. What have to know? I'm not hitting them, am I? So now let's have a look downstairs. 
I've got two hearts and then I've got 24 slime chunks. Which is great. Let's take up those two hearts and eat. I don't know what colour comes after dark, dark green, but that's what I've been doing. But unfortunately, of course, yeah. Your difficulty level goes up, but it's. I don't know whether it matters or not, to be honest with you. I prefer it not to go up, but uh, that's it. So, that's it for this episode. Next time, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing. I'm tidying up the base at the moment, consolidating the power supplies and all the rest of it. And so, I'll go through that next time, I reckon. Uh, so, until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>